Okay, so the second part of our podcast this week, I've just got a few more types of painting techniques. Um, and then I'm going to show you a few videos of different painters in action. So this one will probably be about five to seven minutes, and then we can go and watch the rest of the short video tutorials of different paint techniques. So what I'm showing you here is just some different types of watercolor techniques. I know that watercolor is easily accessible, it is not too expensive, and you can do a lot of cool things. Um, so it first talks about different ways to hold the paintbrush, and then um, how to control your brush as well, and it has some different exercises like that. Um, some of the things we can quickly look at, because I don't want to spend too much time on that, is um, the grip of your brush. So depending on how you grip your brush, if you grip it closer to the bristles and the metal part on the brush, you will have the most control over your paintbrush. Um, you can create details that way or a stippling effect and it just you're able to draw more with the paintbrush. And then if you take a look at the pinch, it's where you hold your pen, uh, sorry, paintbrush with your hands, um, pinching it from one side. This allows you to use more of the side of the bristle and also paddle the bristle to create different mixes with the paint. You can also pass the pencil, it's called, where you hold it a little bit further out um, and it rests, your knuckles rest on the paper and you use more of your wrist. Then you've got the screwdriver, like you would hold it like a screwdriver. Um, this is intended to be controlled, and you can twist your paintbrush. And then if we go back home and take a look at some different types of watercolor techniques, you've got your flat watercolor wash, where you just pull your paintbrush in one direction, and you are trying to get the same tone of paint throughout. Um, there is wet on wet, where you actually paint or um, wet your paper first, and then you can paint and dab your brush on. A lot of times this is good for clouds. And what will happen is the paint will um, bleed out and a lot of times you can get some really cool mixtures this way as well and then you can create different layering effects. So that's a really cool technique. Um, it's one of my favorites. I also like salt textures. The cool thing with salt is if you create kind of a wet on wet and when your paint is still really wet you can sprinkle a little salt on and then what will happen is it, the salt picks up all the paint in that one little area and it will absorb it and leave a lighter speck. A lot of times too the salt will actually change some of the paint colors so it's a really interesting look. Um, more to talk about our dry brush. That's where your brush is, your brush is pretty dry. You don't add much water. Um, there's splatter paint. Scraffito is where you actually scratch into the paper and then you paint over it. Wax resist is also another really cool technique. You can also use it with tape. Um, and you can use candle wax or actually crayons. And then you draw through on your paper all the areas that you want to resist the watercolor. And then you paint over it. And it creates this effect where the watercolor, because it has water in it, will not absorb the paper that has the wax um, from the crayon or oil. So it creates this really cool technique here. And you can create a lot of different landscapes and designs that way. 
So that's also a really cool technique. Some I tend to use a lot more than others. Um, I probably use the graded wash, wet on wet, dry brush, salts, and wax. That's usually how I create different things. This website is pretty cool too because it has some short videos and different tutorials that you can take a look at and watch as they do it. So like for a glaze wash, um, it'll show you step by step how to create a glaze painting. And here is the final product of that painting just by layering different colors together. Um, all I did was I um, Google searched watercolor techniques and took a look. Um, I think I clicked on the first website possible. But then they have some different types of paintings that will show you step by step how to color some of these different paintings as well. And that's just watercolor. Um, but you can also take a look at some different types of techniques. Um, another website I found was just techniques about painting. Um, it's got different types of painting, glazing, um, painting techniques using dripping, uh, painting techniques blending paint colors, and it will go through and kind of show you step by step how to transform a project while painting. Um, it also gives you like oil painting techniques, watercolor painting techniques, and different types of things like that. So if we look at like oil painting techniques, we can take a look at um, all of these different websites here. They have a lot of different information and it's just a great source of things that you can find. So this will wrap up kind of some of the different painting techniques that we're going over. And I am going to send you a video or two about just some different famous artists that are currently creating pieces that you can watch from YouTube. So I will just send you that link as well. I will see you Thursday and we will talk about the assignment and go over the quiz and make sure you send a summary for the podcast. Have a great week.